Hello and welcome to this video on acid base definition. My name is Eri Kim and in this video we'll be tackling the bronsted lowry acids and bases. Bronsted lowry acids and bases are all about the presence of protons and I remember this definition by capitalizing the O on both words like this. This reminds me that I have to be thinking about protons. Bronsted lowry in contrast to the Rhenius definition which is covered in another video can apply to both aqueous and non-aqueous solutions, so this definition by nature will be more encompassing. A bronsted lowry acid will donate a proton in solution and therefore decrease the pH of a solution, since pH is inversely proportional to the concentration of hydrogen ions. Remember that hydrogen ion is just another term for a proton. This relationship between hydrogen ions and pH is covered in another video. My example of bronsted lowry acid is hydrofluoric acid which will dissociate in solution to produce a hydrogen ion and fluoride ion. Since hydrofluoric acid is donating a proton in solution, it is a bronsted lowry acid. A bronsted lowry base is a proton acceptor, and by taking the protons out of solution, it will increase the pH. If I take that same hydrofluoric acid from above and consider the reverse reaction, fluoride ion is grabbing a proton from the solution to form hydrofluoric acid. In this respect, since the fluoride ion is accepting a proton, it is acting as a bronsted lowry base. These definitions also really serve to highlight the concept of conjugate acids and bases, which is covered in another video. Every bronsted lowry reaction can be labeled with two conjugate acid base pairs. Since by definition, both bronsted lowry acids and Arrhenius acids involve donating protons or hydrogen ions in solution, all aqueous bronsted lowry acids will also be Arrhenius acids. For example, the hydrofluoric acid from earlier is both a bronsted lowry acid and an Arrhenius acid. The contrast comes with the base definitions. Arrhenius bases deal with donating hydroxide ions on solution, and bronsted lowry is all about accepting hydrogen ions. Taking my earlier reaction, fluoride ion is an example of a bronsted lowry base, since it will accept the proton and increase the pH of a solution. However, it can't be an Arrhenius base since fluoride ions can't donate hydroxide ions. The Arrhenius definition of acids and bases is also described in another video. Let's see this in action with the applied question. We're asked to identify bronsted lowry acid bases in the following reactions. The easiest way would be to break these reactions into two half reactions. In A, ammonia will accept a proton to become ammonium. So ammonia is acting as the bronsted lowry base. Water is donating the proton to ammonia to form hydroxide ion, so water is acting as a bronsted lowry acid. Notice that if I sum up the two half reactions, I will form the overall net equation at the top. In B, acetic acid will donate a proton to become acetate, so acetic acid is my bronsted lowry acid. Nitrogen dioxide is accepting a proton to become nitrous acid, so nitrogen dioxide is my bronsted lowry base. Again, these two half reactions will sum up to make the net reaction. Make sure you have a solid definition for bronsted lowry acids and bases. They both deal with the directionality of protons. Follow up this video with some practice questions to solidify your knowledge. 